Long run play uh, from Rock. So we'll see what we do when we come back out here. Redshirt sophomore from Viger High School down at Pritchard. The linebacker will be Tyler Scazzaro's the center, fifth year senior from Bessemer Academy. 6 Welcome 3 back inside the Eastman broadcast booth. Career and workforce ready. It's here from Auburn Rock, 5'11, 193. The tight end, Dakota Chapman, 6 1. That's their starting lineup. Now Eastman Kimmel, Jonathan Hagler, Rashad Green, David Nee, Spencer Watley, Dalton Campbell, Dylan Klein, Tyler Scazzaro. Good sideline for us. Gabe Cox it all red. Right red. Looks at a four man front for me. He will hand it off. Rock cuts behind a block and will fight to the 30 the outside. Snap Horn. He'll leave it with Rock. Cuts behind a block. Hits his left. way across. Shotgun. One back set. Hughes to throw. Pressure. Lobs it down the field. He intercepted. Bridges 45 of the Gamecocks. Back to midfield to the 40. Cut back across the field to the 35. Stiff arms a man. He cuts to the 30. Eludes a man and stumbles and goes down at the 25. First down. Jacksonville State on the Bridges pick. That'll be his second of the season for Check it, third of the conversion against the Gamecocks. They go four wide, two to each side. Hughes to throw, pressure, pocket collapses, and they got him. A sack for Jacksonville State. Are looking for that. We're putting put Doss in the game, and looks like we're about to go left side. They line up the tight end on the left side. Stamp to Hughes out of a running back to his right. Sets to throw, getting pressure, going to get sacked. They got him back at their 40-yard line at 6-2. Four man front from the Tigers in this defensive set. Horn going to leave it with Rock. Started in, dipped it back outside. Got a block to the 30, to the 25, to the 20. Thomas 15, Thomas 10, 5. Alabama's going to be first and goal. Jacksonville State and Alatrust Credit Union first down run of about 38. Almost like an extra point. Again, penetration in the middle, but he got that ball up and in the air and good. Right in the middle of the upright. It starts, that's a JSU and OVC record. To throw Horn, out route far side, a throw and a catch. Davidson came back and got it. And lines up as a left half, so three tight ends on the field. Horn fakes, pulls it out. Two men wide open down there. Cummins got it. 30, or excuse me, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. First catch of the season of his career. Austin. Lines up as a left half, so three tight ends on the field. Horn fakes, pulls it out. Two men wide open down there. Cummins got it. 30, or excuse me, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. First catch of the season of his career, Austin Cummings, the tight end, a transfer from Louisville, his first career reception. 6'5 guy, another big tight end, 6'5, 230. He transferred from Louisville to Jacksonville State. Put the tight end back in motion to the near side of the field. He's, uh, they'll hand it to Roland and he tries to keep moving. They got across the torn at quarterback with a snap. He will fake and pull it out and keep it and sprints to the 40, 35, 30. Look at Horn go, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Brian Horn in Jacksonville State. Who lit a fire under him? Oh, did he turn it on when he got past the line of scrimmage. Horn, the quarterback, with a snap. He will fake and pull it out and keep it and sprints to the 40, 35, 30. Look at Horn go, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Brian Horn in Jacksonville State. Who lit a fire under him? Oh, did he turn it on when he got past the line of scrimmage? They go with the set. They, nobody back there. Hughes going to throw on first down, steps up. Now he looks to tuck it, wants to run it. And not running, but zigging and zagging. Didn't turn up in motion across the line of scrimmage from right to left. Horn rides it in, fakes and keeps. Breaks a tackle, cuts the corner, 30, 35, 40. Took a pop, bounces off of it, 45, and then tackled out of bounds at the 47-yard line and a late hit, and that'll add 15 more. He got tackled as he was in the wide. They're loading the box here. Horn going to pull it out and keep it. Breaks through the middle, 40, 35, 30, 25. Down around the 20-yard line. First down, Jacksonville State. And Alatrust in, Newbold at the three-yard line. Going to the far side, that's a block in the back maybe. Yeah, there comes the flag. And Newbold, Whoa. the second flag, and he tried to go high and got flipped and knocked out of bounds. Snap, Hughes, fakes, pressure coming, and they got him! And he lost it out of the back of the end zone. That'll be a safety, Hagler sacks him, and he just Threw it out of the back of the end zone, and it's 29 to six. Backside pressure, Hackner. That's the first safety of the year. Up as a wing back on that left side. Dawes fakes, going to look at Barry, and he goes to the deeper receiver. And what a grab by Shaq Davidson with the defense. That play, snap to Dawes, pulls it out, and he'll keep it on the read option. 40, 45 midfield, cut back. Look at him run. 40, 35, 30, 25. And leans and goes down at him at the 23-yard line. Does Kendrick Doss another Jacksonville State Alatrust Credit Union. In motion across the line of scrimmage to the left. Doss the snap. Leaves it with Terry. Breaks a tackle. Comes outside to the 15. Stays wide to the 10. And 
Manning gets popped out of bounds at the nine. Terry's got it, breaks free at the five, cuts outside, touchdown, Jacksonville State. Termel Terry with a touchdown run from eight yards out. And with 11.06 to go, Jacksonville State now with a 35-6 lead in this one. What a beautiful job of running that time. He started to his left, bent back. Terry's got it, breaks free at the five, cuts outside, touchdown, Jacksonville State. Termel Terry with a touchdown run from eight yards out. And with 11.06 to go, Jacksonville State now with a 35-6 lead in this one. What a beautiful job of running that time. He started to his left. Twins right, wide out left side. Hughes going to hand to Curtis, and boy, this time he's <laughs> not going anywhere. Those guys in red. Wow. It's a welcome. Yeah, one of them, Seth Rowland, in, or check it, that is Chris Rowland in motion left side. Blitz coming, Hughes. They got him again. Six on the night. Stoudemire was there. Eli Goodman in the backfield. The loss back to the 49. Old Smith to the left, third and four. Hughes going to try it again. Pressure coming. Choice after him, and they got him again. Another sack for Jacksonville State. All right. He'll get the snap with three, and he'll give to Flowers. And DeMarcus dancing his way, and, oh, he was almost going to go, and he'll get a tight game and went on to thump the Tigers at Tennessee State. Three huge plays there early in that third quarter for the Gamecocks. And Jacksonville State with the victory tonight as they beat the Tigers 36-6. Your final this evening at Burgess Snowfield. These seniors for uh, Jacksonville. Yeah, you know, great win. Uh, it's really good to see our guys, you know, so excited. Uh, I think uh, tonight was as excited I've seen them in the dressing room in a long time. You know, a lot of times you can kind of, I don't know, just get – yeah, and it get, winning never gets old, but it, it's uh, it's good to see them that excited. It's, uh, they're so used to it. Uh, but uh, celebration in the locker room is really good. And I thought they had good reason to. I thought we played well. Um, senior night, so it was good to see those seniors play, you know, uh, as well as we played. It really, really a dominating game. I mean, it's uh, you hold somebody to, you know, 15 yards rushing, uh, and you rush it for 368. Uh, you know, good, good night. And uh, held them under 100 yards uh, total offense, which is big. And uh, you know, you know the way the game started, and you know we played such good defense. You knew some of those three, four yard runs. If we were going to have them, we were eventually going to turn into bigger runs, and, and that's kind of what happened during the game. You know, uh, I don't think, you know, bad first half. Uh, you know, we got a turnover, and we had the ball on 20, and we turned it right back over to them. You know, and I wish it had that back. And it was another, you know, kind of first half. It was like last week. We'd get to the plus 45, right inside it. You know, we'd get a penalty, something happened, and it'd be just right on that line of you get another first down, you're kicking field goals. So, but I take my hat off them. They played really well early. You know, they're, you know, coming into the game, I was like, you know, how have they lost four conference games? And then after you play them, you ask the same question. It's really they're a better team than that. But uh, a lot, a lot of talent, and uh, they can fly defensively. So, but I was proud of our our staff. Good game plan going in, and uh, you know, players just played really well and executed, and uh, you know, very physical game, and, and be able to dominate the line of scrimmage like that. Take my hat off to our guys. Who bought the cigars? Who knows? <laughs> I'll <laughs> you, you feel how I smell like it for a month, probably. <laughs> well, to go back to what you were talking about, from what we could see when the players came in here, they really were in a good mood. Does getting a bye week, well, most likely getting a bye week next week may have something to do with that? Well, and I, I think, uh, you know, we got a lot of respect for Tennessee State. So coming into the game, you know, I knew they, they knew it was going to be a tough game. And then to win it like that, I mean, I think it just really, you know, we played really well. So they're excited about that. And, you know, to get to buy a week is huge. So I said you had a lot on the line. And then, uh, you know, to play on Thursday nights, so you, you added a couple of days on to that, which was good. So nine straight, they was, they was definitely <laughs> wanting to get that buy week. So next week will definitely help us and hopefully get everybody, you know, healed up if we got banged up. We're still, you know, pretty healthy football team, you know. it's. Uh, it's, it's pretty amazing for this time of year, so hopefully we'll stay that way. No, I mean I thought he had really, you know, pulled it, uh, but I think it's more of a strain, you know, than anything. I think when a guy dove at his legs, you know, he overstrided to make that guy miss, and I think you know the next step or on that step it did it, you know. So I, it's not a, not where it's got a, a dent in it or anything like that. So I think he's going to be okay. I believe so. 
good thing is we got a lot of days to get him well, which is huge. You never know what they're going to do. I mean, I, I think we did all we could do. Uh, if you look at the game, and, uh, and you, know, you won by 30. You know, you dominated the game statistically. So I don't know what more you could want. And if you look at Tennessee State, yeah, they were a four-loss team coming in. But, heck, they beat uh, Georgia State to start the season off, you know, handily. I mean, they double, you know, uh, by 14 or 12 or something like that. So, I mean, they beat them pretty good. And that's a that's a bowl eligible team that's up at the top of the, you know, Sun Belt Conference. So, um, you know, they're – so if you look at that, I would think that would have to help us, you know. Yeah, but you never know how the games are going to go Saturday. There's a lot of football to play Saturday. So, we've done all we can do, you know, to put ourselves in that position. And the good thing is I – is slam dunk, we should be in a top a top four seed, you know, which is good. So you, you play, you're going to at least play, get to bye week and play at home, you know, through the, the quarterfinals anyway. So, um, and uh, I'm more interested in seeing, you know, kind of who they put on our side of the bracket and how they, how they do that. You never know how they're going to do that. So we'll, we'll get a good team. It'll be a, you know, a good second round opponent, that's for sure. But Sunday will be a lot of fun to kind of see you know, who that is and, and where we fit at. Well, I think we knew it was going to be a strong suit, you know, coming into the year. You know, you know we've played that way. Uh, we've shortened the game some. I mean, we, we don't snap it as many times offensively as what we normally do. So we're, we're playing to that. Uh, we're just playing great defense. I mean, we get extra hat to the ball, you know, most time in the run game. And, you know, we're able to do that because our back end is really good. Our secondary is playing really good. We put them on the island a lot of times. And I think, you know, those guys have had solid a solid year. And uh, like I said, once you can make somebody one dimensional like that, gives you a chance to be really good. And, um, the front seven's able to get pressure when people are going to throw the football and then fit the run equally as well. So, like I said, I think, um, you know, you look at their offensive line now, they're big offensive line, they do a good job. So, to hold them to 15 yards rushing is a big task for sure. Just got to keep doing it. It's, it's kind of like a boxing match. I mean, you sit there and you watch two heavyweights go at it. I mean, you, you know, you just you're landing punches, but the punches kind of wear on the opponent. I think that's what you do when you run the football. I mean, you, we're, we're going to run the football, so you, if you you know just continue to pound it, eventually, you know, I, I, that's what we said at halftime. I said, you know, hey, those three yard runs, four yard runs are going to turn into big runs as we go on. And that's kind of what happened. I think we kind of wore on them physically. And and um, I, I think we just, that's one of the things in, in a game like that you know, that happens. Oh, it's huge. I told him after he scored at first, I said, I thought he was going to catch you. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he showed a little speed tonight, so it was good. He, he broke several. Heck, he led us in rushing with 100 and 47 yards rushing, something like that. So it was a, it was a good night for him. But uh, you got to count for it. The good thing showing that tonight, it's, you know, he shows he can break an explosive play. And it's not like you're just going to break it and he's going to get five or 10 yards. He can break it. You better count for him in the run game. So, and I don't think they did that, you know, and I, I think uh, can get paid, you know, he made them pay for it. I think so too, and I mean that's what makes his own read so good. And you know, things heck, we're reading somebody every time we snap it. But uh, you know, it's it, it's what makes it good. You know, you, you have to play, you have to play both. Um, you know, and you got to put enough hats on the back side of that to account for him. And uh, he's he's able to break some tackles too. I thought he did a good job of that tonight and protected the football. Outside the one, the only mistake he made all night pretty much was the, the interception. He should have thrown that ball away. And uh, guy, we double moved the guy, and he sat outside on the ball, and he was just trying to make you know throw the ball up where we could go make a play. It wasn't no sense. It was second down. Yeah, you know, he should have thrown that ball away, and 
live to play third down, kick a field goal if you got to kick a field goal. But um, you know, he's he's he, learn, he he does a good job about learning from every situation. So, pretty headsy player. What does it say about your team that they're able to let themselves have so much fun after a win like that? I think it's big. I mean, because a lot of times we don't do that. We we look forward so much all the time, and uh, you know, we we don't sit around and, and reflect on. You know, some of our successes, so it's good to see them do that. I, I think they were just relieved to, you know, get this Thursday night game behind them, win big, and uh, the way we won, I think, excited them. And, uh, you know, going in off week, you got some momentum, and, uh, you know, like I said, just kept every goal we got alive, and uh, I think that was big for them. And uh, it, was, it, was, it was fun to see them celebrate in the locker room.